So it's been a month or a month and a half since you saw the last update on the 87 Volvo wagon. And uh, a lot's happened since you last saw it. I'm going to just run down everything that we've done to this car and uh, show you the kind of swaps we do here at NB Auto. Customer brought us this relatively mint example of a DL, uh, 240 wagon, 1987. Surprisingly, it's got 181,000 kilometers on it, so it's actually a bit of a high miler. But in terms of rust and body condition, it's immaculate. Customer is really after a highway car. He doesn't want to drag race. He doesn't want to do burnouts and donuts like typical 2J kind of fun stuff. He just wants a car he can roll out on the highway and surprise BMWs and Porsches and stuff like that. All right, so under the hood, 2JZ VVTi right out of a Aristo over in Japan. Uh, we brought that in the shop, freshened up all the seals, cam seals, front main, rear main, uh, the time belt, tensioner, all those maintenance issues so we don't have any leaks or any problems with it that way. Added a uh, Garrett 3582 Gen 2 GTX Turbo to a cast manifold. It's running a Bosch 044 and a radium fuel rail feeding injector dynamics 1050 injectors. The customer's goal is somewhere around five to 600 wheel horsepower, which this setup, we've done that before. Our Drift STI has this, pretty much this exact same set, setup and uh, it makes over that on ethanol. So on pump gas, we should be all right with this setup. Um, that's our body shop man, Saeed from Auto Auto Body, who just repainted this uh, coil cover for us so it could match the rest of the car. Actually, I should mention underneath the coil cover, we're running uh, LS coils, just like we do in our drift car. And um, controlling all of this madness is uh, ECU, ECU Masters EMU Black. Uh, we chose that ECU so we could utilize the drive-by-wire, the factory drive-by-wire that this engine has and keep everything running nicely. We have lots of experience with them. We really like them. Great stuff. But uh, now it's all together. You can see all the fine details and all the hard work that Vin put into it. Tucking the rad up tight inside the uh, rad support, giving us lots of room clearance for service on the front of this engine. Everything's super serviceable on this. So you could, it's almost as if the engine's in a stock location. The intercooler is nicely hidden by this huge Volvo grille. But uh, you can see we've used all the right parts. Turbo, spark, wastegate, blow off valve, big fuel pressure regulator. This car is set up to jam. All right, now that you know everything about it, let's take it for a quick drive. It's not quite tuned yet. We just put a base map in it and did some quick little drivability tuning around town here. Hasn't hit the dyno yet, so uh, we'll just go on wastegate pressure and go for a quick spin. All right, we've walked you around the engine bay. Now let's uh, take this thing for a quick drive. Keep in mind, this is just base map. Nothing crazy yet. We haven't been on the dyno and uh just do a couple little drives uh, the car is only 14 pounds boost right now because we're just running wastegate but i'm also only like 30 percent throttling it just so uh we can get a dyno it's got this sweet twin disc clutch in it so it's the only thing that's not incognito about this car is the clutch I surprised the hell out of a guy in a pickup the other day it was fun Cruiser on just nicely. Probably use a tire balance. Not something that we mucked around with though. But in terms of driver, like cruising at 100K right now, it's nice, it's livable. No crazy drone or anything like that. Which is exactly what this guy wanted so he can enjoy driving his car. I'm gonna say though, it needs an upgrade in the suspension department because it's a uh, it's just a little soft. You can feel it just like going down the road. Oh yeah, just, it is. just driving over down the road. It's like, oh yeah, we're in an 80s Volvo. It just doesn't sound like it. <laughs> There's something weird about it. <laughs> it's cool though. Yeah. You get the turbo wine while you're cruising.
take it off the main highway here and hit some back roads. Unfortunately, all the back roads here are straight, but actually that's a good thing for this car because cornering is definitely not its forte. Oh my God. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Let's give it a little. Yeah, I mean, that's like a whole 30%-ish throttle. It, it's probably not even making 14 pounds yet at that point. Just kind of like rolling into it. But it gets going way too quick. Wow. <laughs> it's good. Until you're going too fast. <laughs> yeah, it needs suspension now. It's just too, l just lumbers along too much. That's you rolling into the throttle? Yeah, yeah just, just kind of like gently rolling into it. I don't want to trounce on it. The suspension's a little too soft and it like, the car like wallows and kind of wants to do this like weird kind of wheelie thing. Something I need to sort out with the owner is like some better sorted suspension. Right now it's just got like cut springs to make it all stancy. But uh, the engines overcome the factory springs probably a little bit heavier. And now the added power, the torsional twist is not the best. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you liked what you saw here. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel to see future builds that we have. We got a lot of cool stuff in the pipeline. But uh, more importantly, if you wanna do a swap like this, 2J, LS, Barra, I don't know, whatever it is you wanna do, that's the kind of work we like to do. So hit us up at NV Auto.